Evening, ladies. Hiya. Hi. Question number one. I model myself on superhero Thor. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> the God of Thunder. If I were to pick you tonight, how would you ensure our date finished with a bang? And that goes to lady number one. Well, I'm a lingerie model, so when you see me, you're going to want the beginning, middle and end of the date to have a bang in it. <laughs> and to number two. Well, I studied criminology, so we play cops and robbers. When it comes to a bang, if you play the cop, I'll be sure to set your pistol off. <laughs> And to number three. If you've got a great sense of humour, that'll make me happy. And if you can make me laugh, it'll definitely end with a bang. <laughs> like one bad away. Question number two. I'm very proud of my body, and ladies, you might find out later why. <laughs> one of my best talents is flexing my pecs. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that? Oh, just, you know. <laughs> Looks better with the shirt off, I've got to be honest, but we haven't got time to <laughs> um, Yeah, one of my best talents is flexing my pecs. <laughs> I'm trying to flex mine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, go on, sorry, you're flexing sorry. your pecs. Yeah, one of my best talents is flexing my pecs. What's yours? Mm -hmm. And that is also to number one. So, I've done acting and dancing in the Bollywood industry, so I'm sure I'll be able to show you a move or two. <laughs> <laughs> and to number two. Well, I love doing impressions, and I'm always doing them of my friends and family. If you were to choose me, I'd make sure next time I only do you. <laughs> <laughs> and to number three. You may be able to flex your pecs, but I can flex my nostrils. <laughs> now then... <laughs> Question number three. As a bodybuilder, I have my entire body waxed and the whole, only hair on my body is on my head, which people often tell me my hair is better than most girls. <laughs> what part of you would you say is better than the girls next to you? Whoa. And that can go to number three. I once ate 17 roast potatoes in one sitting, so it's probably fair to say I can fit a lot more in my mouth than these girls. <laughs> <laughs> and, to number... <laughs> and to number two. Well, I'm a swim teacher, so I'll probably show off my breaststroke, but if you were to choose one of these girls, I'm sure they can only show a doggy paddle. <laughs> <laughs> and to number one. You know what? I went really nice with this one, guys. It depends if you're a boob or a bum guy, but we're all packing the heat back here, so your lineup's looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to choose number one. Yeah. Would you like, like to meet the ladies that you turned yes. down? Yeah? OK. Well, you turned down number two, and that's Josephine from London. Come on in, Josephine. <laughs> Love. Uh, are you OK? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You also turned down. You ready for this? Number three, and that's Cheryl from Norwich. Come on in, Cheryl. Right, you ready to meet your date? Yeah, get them good. guns out and get them flicking. <laughs> Here you go. You chose number one. And that's Sean from Hastings. Come on in. You okay? How are you? Nice to meet you. 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 You've just got ten out of ten. And what do you think? I'm doing better than that, yeah. can I? Yeah, no, and what do you think? Very nice. Yeah. Very happy. Now, we want you two to have the perfect date, so I'm just going to reveal the golden envelopes. <laughs> Right, who's going to choose? Go on, then. Uh, yeah. That one. So. OK, open oh it up. Let's see where you're going. Oh, my God. Um, where are you going? We are going to Fiji. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well,
when we first met in Fiji, she looked really good. Um, I noticed that she had like an all-in-one play suit on, which was quite um, hugging to her curves. When I first saw Aaron, two things jumped out to me, actually. <laughs> Obviously, his bright white mashers that are just there, beaming like the sun. <laughs> and his nose ring. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. How, How are you? <laughs> No problem at all. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yes. What's all this about? I know. I can't believe it. I'm so sad. I thought I'd pick the golden ticket. I know. You did pick a great destination. Yeah. Should we go and grab a drink then? I think in this situation that would be really great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. After you. Ugh. It was raining, so we decided to just have a couple of drinks um, under some shelter. I was really nervous to meet Aaron at the start of the day. It was quite nerve-wracking, not knowing what the type of person he was or if he'd find me attractive, or if I would still find him attractive. Uh, hello. Oh, wow. So how often do you go gym? Um, probably about six times a week. Is yeah. that why your legs are more, like, shaven than mine? <laughs> you <didn't notice> it. <laughs> yeah, I do have my legs waxed. I'm actually quite envious yeah, how better all, your legs look. All my body waxed. Oh, my gosh, on your arms? Yeah, I do my arms. I'm so hairy. So. Initially, it was a little bit hard to decipher whether you know, there was going to be any romance or whatnot because, you know, it was early days. It was very wet. It wasn't the ideal scenario for, like, a first meet um, because I was really hot but also really wet from the rain. And, but, I mean, he wore it well. The next morning we went out into the sea and we went out onto a glass bottom boat which was crazy because that's not something that I would have chose to do. Oh my god, this is wow. so cool! It was quite cosy. I think that's the first time we've been that close together. The flirting stepped up a notch because we was a little bit more touchy-feely because we were kind of sat next to each other. How lucky did you feel that I picked you now? You're the lucky <laughs> I think I accidentally touched his bum at one point. I didn't notice that she goes my bum, no, no. That was not a problem, but no, I didn't notice that. Experience of a lifetime. And you get to spend it with me. <laughs> the sandbar um, is a little kind of miniature island on its own in the middle of the sea. Um, so we took a boat out there. Thank you, Vanaka. This look. is insane. Oh, look at this! Wow. So cute. Oh my god, pineapple! <laughs> How sweet. The views, everything, like me and him just on that little island. Um, we really got to know each other. I couldn't even pinpoint your accent when I first heard. No. No, didn't know where you're from. It's grown on you now. You said you don't mind I it. like it now, yeah. yeah. Good. I like it, like when you say the word apple and stuff. <laughs> so you're glad that I picked you? Yeah. Yeah. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So I just picked out the bits that I could remember. Like lingerie. So I picked up on the lingerie, I picked up on the dancing, <laughs> I picked up on, you know, the bum reference, you know, and to be fair, you were right. So... Aaron is really into the modelling side of things, and I think he is quite interested that I do do that. Um, but I also love that, you know, he's not too shy from the camera either, and he can kind of respect and appreciate that. Yes, we finally managed to uh, enjoy the weather properly. So we took our tops off and she got into a costume, which was uh, not a bad sight at all. Oh, baby, I like your size. Sweet boutique with hips and thighs. Jump in my car, let's go for a ride. We're gonna slide. You just be natural. Girl, twerk something. Girl, work something. Don't hurt nothing. Work. Yes. I was obviously giving Aaron tips on modeling and what angles were best. He has got all the gear, but he has got no idea. <laughs> this whole experience, this whole place is just so romantic. It almost feels like impossible not to be romantic. Um, Aaron made the first move and we were on the little sunset walk. Yeah, I enjoyed that little bit of PDA there. If I could describe Aaron in three words, it would be confident, really attractive, obviously teeth. I think it's more than friends, for sure. The chemistry's there. Everything's there to make it kind of a really good thing. I do fancy Shan. I think we've had a really good time, and I do think she's somebody that I could spend time with when we get back home.